Good morning. Welcome to the channel. Say hi to Miss Ellie. <laughs> she just got a brand new bed and she's playing around in it. Anyway, come join us for milking time. Welcome to morning milking with Jen. Uh, so I've got Emma behind me. That was Ellie, her little heifer calf that you saw in the last video. Um, just going to show you my morning milking routine. Enjoy! <laughs> Start with pre-dipping, it's iodine, uh, lanolin, a bunch of other good stuff. So that just kind of cleans the teats before you get to milking. So you leave that on for a little bit so it's got time to work. Generally, while I'm doing that, I'll get the strap on her. This is a special strap made for the milker, the surge milker. It's got a nice little groove here that holds the milker in place. And we just use baby wipes to clean the teats. Um, yeah. <laughs> Kind of the best tool that we've found so far. Hey, yeah. So you can hear the pump pumping up in the background there. building pressure. So pretty soon I'll turn on the surge milker, take some of that pressure off. Let it fill up the vacuum. here. <laughs> so we'll give her a little brush while we're waiting. Just kind of more of a bonding thing than anything else. Um, she's eating some feed there in the bin in front of her face. Can't see that there. Let's see if we can get you through here. There. And I'll know later if that worked or not. <laughs> was wobbly on the stand. It's been a little while since I recorded. <laughs> All right, brushing time.
So those tubes you see hanging down, um, where are we here? Around the milker, they're made of a kind of nice squishy rubber. So you can feel the warmth and the pressure as it pulses and pulls the milk down. So you can actually feel it when you squeeze on them in between your fingers so you know if that, that specific teat and udder are milking out. So she always dumps her back two teats quickly, but it takes longer for the front two. Just how she works, every cow's a little bit different. This is her second go around. She had a calf last year. Gave us an adorable little bull calf. Emmett was his name. Um, so he's moved on to his new home and replacing him with some sheep. Uh, so always keeping busy around here. Um, there you can hear that. I don't know if you can hear it from here, but she just finished dumping out the back two teats so that the sound changes. You get really used to it as you're milking. We went about this for eight months last year, so we're kind of used to her routine. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing my winter jacket again. <laughs> we had spring for a few days. It was up to plus 29 the other day, which is just crazy because we had about three feet of snow in the bush last week. Uh, so it melted a good bit of it, but last night it really cooled off and got windy and we got lots of rain. So it's uh, chilly this morning. I'm bundled up. All right, I'll go check again. So I can still feel it coming out of these fronts too. But there's nothing at all in the back door. So the far side on the front, <laughs> Piggy, get out of here. Um, she's wrapping up there. Got maybe another 30 seconds on that one and she'll be done. But this side closest to us here, it's dumping out pretty fast right now. It's got about another minute there. She's doing pretty good. She did end up getting a bit of mastitis, so kind of an infection in the one teat closest to us here last year. Um, so that was treated and we stopped her milking then and so it it dumps out a bit slower so there was likely a little bit of damage within the teat itself so it doesn't open up as fully as the others when it's stripping the milk out of it and you maybe noticed when i was cleaning the teats that the rest of them strip out really easily but that one closest to us it takes a bit of extra work to squeeze out the milk even just by hand. So the surge milker has been invaluable. I couldn't do it by hand at all. I'm a massage therapist by trade, so my hands can only take so much. Um, yeah, I think we're about done here. Starting to sound just a little different. Anyway, check it out. So Emma likes to help me when I'm taking it off and she likes to run away. 
So maybe we've got her trained to stand still by now. We'll see. Not bad. We did pretty good. So there's about two and a half gallons in there likely. Just take the pressure off the valves here. same mixture just keeps the teeth nice and soft and clean where with a calf when they're drinking the saliva will kind of coat the end of the teeth and seal it off so there's no bacteria coming in or out so this kind of serves the same purpose it's just man-made and there's some some things in there to just keep the teeth soft and so there's no chapping or anything What's that? Milking, in a nutshell. <laughs> Twice a day, every day. Yeah. All right, we'll wrap it up there. So we pulled Miss Ellie here off. Um, about five days ago, I guess. Um, so she's now drinking from a pail, which is awesome. And she's eager for her breakfast right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, so that was a good morning. She gave us about three and a half gallons here, maybe. I know you. I gotta keep it back or you'll tip it over. Easy lass. Easy girl. I know, you're eager this morning. Hey, ready for some breakfast? You ready for some breakfast, Ellie Bean? Alright. Go. Back to you. Easy love. So she likes to dump it out on us. <laughs> she gets pretty excited for breakfast and supper. All right, got her established there. So hopefully she'll just calm down and drink. So it did not take long at all to train her. Um, bottle training we did for three days. Um, so she picked that up within two feedings. Now she thinks that I'm the source of milk, <laughs> which is why we went to the pail because uh, that bunting hurts. <laughs> You've seen them probably in the field. Sheep do the same. They almost lift mum right up by the udders and well, I'm not mum. <laughs> I don't have four legs and a thousand pounds holding me to the ground. <laughs> so we switched to the bucket here and she picked that up first feeding right away. She's she's a smart little thing. I'm pretty excited about little Ellie Bean. She's the heifer that we've been waiting three years on from Emma. She gave us a bowl last year. <laughs> yeah. So now we've got our heifer. Hey. Hey, crazy lady. We'll give her a little bit more slack there. We just have to be careful with milking so she doesn't go nuts and try to take me out. Hey, sweetheart. Say hi to the camera. Or bye, rather. All right. So that's that. We will sign out for today. Thanks for following along and uh, catch y'all on the next one. Bye.